What's up, everyone? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So I have a few tidbits for you guys here in this video. We're going to be looking at the Belfry, how that ties into the core of the game and potentially the developers dropping a few nuggets in some of the art or concept art that they shared recently. So those of you who know the way the Belfry is structured in Gotham Knights is it's done in a way where the Knights can make their way during the day to the Belfry. They can go ahead and restructure themselves. They can probably be in a position where depending on your progression in the game, you will engage in some cutscenes. Uh, you can actually level up as well. You can do some really cool stuff in there. But then at night, the Knights are able to pretty much make their way to their missions or to their activities that they want to carry out. The developers have also said that you can switch within characters over the course of the game. So there is a lot of flexibility there. But something is really quite important in this particular Belfry conversation. And I don't know if the developers actually meant for that to actually happen, but it seemed like they went ahead to reveal this particular um, concept art and it actually speaks volumes. So we'll take a few minutes and look at it. And it's Barbara actually reconstructing some kind of a crime scene. Now, the really interesting thing about this crime scene is the crime is actually depicted in a specific horrific way. So this might be an allusion to one of the villains and, you know, the way they actually operate. Another really interesting thing that caught my eye is a little statue of Jim Gordon also in this crime scene. So maybe she's recreating a crime scene that has some kind of relationship to her dad which leads me to make this hypothesis. I don't think this is going to happen definitively, but I'm just making this hypothesis that perhaps we'll be seeing aspects of these characters that are unique to them, or maybe specific storylines, story missions, or quests where they're trying to answer questions that are just relating to them as the knight themselves. Because if you guys remembered when they first showed the reveal to Gotham Knights, they also mentioned that Jim was already dead and the Knights couldn't trust anyone at the GCPD. Also, they showed another little picture that I think was from a little clip that they were showcasing at the San Diego Comic Con. I think they showed a small cutscene or an example of a cutscene and how they actually pulled it off and showed the Knights in the Belfry. And, you know, it's really interesting to see how some of those conversations would go, depending on maybe the night you're playing or, you know, how the different nights are going to address themselves, depending on what they're feeling about Batman's sudden death and all of the above. I guess that's a story perspective that we have to take a look at. And one thing that was actually mentioned as well by Anne LeMay, who is one of the directors of this game in terms of narrative and story you know, she mentioned something about Alfred, you know, she said something about Alfred, not necessarily having been, uh, you know, very well acknowledged in the game, but he does play a really pivotal role on how he engages with the Knights and how the Knights are in a position where, you know, over the course of the game, they do rely on some of his expertise and they rely on some of what he brings to the table. So this is going to be very interesting for us to see because in Arkham Origins, there is a lot of that aspect to the game with Batman. Uh, Alfred is a really pivotal character in this game, uh, Origins that is, and I don't necessarily know how much he'll be a pivotal character, a voice of reason to the night. I'm hoping that we get to see that. And from this particular, you know, concept thought that was shared, it appears to me that they're trying to help us build some sort of a picture as to what role the Belfry is going to play. So this is really cool. Now, another thing, too, that the Belfry, in my opinion, probably does, you know, signify is some kind of a progression check area where, you know, as the character is progressing, you know, they're making their way to and from the Belfry. They're actually, you know, taking on these different, uh, you know, tasks from there. And I think it would be that particular hub that removes the monotony that can actually get built within the game. So this is something that I felt, you know, would really, really speak out for those who may, in a sense, not necessarily be, you know, honed in to what night they want to play as. So think about it. Maybe you start playing Red Hood and you don't like him. Oh my gosh. Red Hood fans. I know. I know it is what it is. I'm just going with the hypothesis. Let's just hope that Red Hood plays, uh, you know, much better than we've seen him play actually. And you decide that, you know, I would probably prefer to go with maybe, uh, you know, Batgirl in my own estimation. And then you decide that that's actually what you want to do. Well, you go for Batgirl and then all of a sudden you decide that you prefer Robin. You can just switch as you want. So this is actually something that I strongly believe would play 
towards the you know purpose of the audience having that variety within the game so this is in my estimation pretty cool and i'm glad that we got to see this tidbit i hope that it actually pans out to a way where the belfry is going to be this little place that continues to add some depth to the story and make every night have the possibility of encountering events encountering you know maybe enemies bosses maybe past happenings that are related to them uniquely so this is also that other place where we're looking for the possibility of jason having to meet uh you know some or encounter at least i guess i should put it that way some elements from the league of assassins because they are the ones that do have some kind of a relationship to him from the canons but anyways i'm gonna get out of y'all's hair thank you very much for watching the video i really appreciate you guys and all the support you guys have been dropping on the channel hopefully we'll talk in another one i'd love to hear your thoughts nonetheless on all of this talk to me Peace out.